We begin tonight with an NBC 15 News reality check. The family of a man who died in Fountain Prison in Atmore is demanding answers. Tracy Besselar was serving a life sentence when he passed away. Tracy's family tells us the prison did not notify them of his death. NBC 15's Ken McGrath joins us now. Ken, the family is still waiting to find out what happened to his body. Yeah, that's right. Now, I spoke with Aniston Mixon. She's Tracy's niece. She tells me that her family can't even grieve because they have no closure. We've tried everything we could to get a hold of the warden, the DOJ, and apparently the investigator that's investigating his death, but no one's given us any answers. Mixon says her uncle Tracy Bessler was a good guy, that he had a few run-ins with the law, but she says that's no excuse for the way that her family has been treated. We've been using all our time to find out what happened. There's no body, no death certificate, no anything. Mixon tells me they found out about Bessler dying months after he passed away. She says someone at church told them that they read about his death in a newspaper article. The article stated that Bessler died on July 19th. The family didn't even find out until September 28th. Mixon says her family is fed up with not getting answers. It sounds like they're not doing their job. Exactly. And that's what makes us even more mad because they're, since they're not doing their job, we still can't get answers. Mixon says at this point, she feels like no one in the justice system even cares about her uncle. He's a person. He deserves, you know, his family deserves to get answers. I mean, he's not just roadkill, roadkill and they're treating him like roadkill. They don't even care. And it makes us, it infuriates us. The family tells me they're hoping to have a memorial service so they can finally have the closure they deserve. We just want to be able to grieve and put this, you know, behind us and let him live in our memories. But we can't, we don't have time to do that because we're investigating all this by ourselves. Now, I just received this statement right here from the Alabama Department of Corrections. A spokesperson says that Bessler's cause of death was acute fentanyl toxicity and his manner of death was accidental. The spokesperson also says they tried reaching out to the family, but they never received a response back. Now, because they were not able to reach any of the family members, that spokesperson tells us that Bessler was laid to rest at a departmental cemetery. We'll be sure to post this full statement for you on our website, mynbc15.com.